Yeah, how exciting is this? And just like buses, you're waiting for a bus and then all of a sudden three come along, or in this case, five. So we have two of the Birmingham boys chilling in the afternoon sun, but their bellies don't look that full. So I'm thinking these boys might get up and move at some stage. It looks like they may have had something small. The, the male on the right has a slightly bigger belly than the other brother, but it's still not as full as what it can be. So you can still see it, it does go in towards the back legs. As, uh, if they're nice and full, it looks like a huge balloon. It looks very uncomfortable. Definitely looks like there's room for more in there. But they are flat out. They're getting a little bit irritated by flies, certainly the brother on the right. So again, if they get irritated enough, they might just stand up. And that's the beauty of cats. If you are willing to be patient, you might just see some movement or interesting behavior from them. Now I understand that this is part of quite a large coalition and I remember when I was here last we were hearing about the Birmingham boys coming in from the Manuletti which is north of where we are in Juma Game Reserve but we were hearing it was going to be quite a large coalition, uh, unheard of really, about eight or nine males but I think that never materialised. I think perhaps six came down in the end but I think they are one short now so they are the big boys now in the area I think they chased off the Majingi lions I, don't, I haven't really heard about them so they are the main boys in this area So I think there was a question coming in from John. Hopefully I've got the name right. And John, good afternoon. And John wanting to know if the manes of the lion makes them more open or more visible to prey. And they can do to a certain extent, but generally speaking, if the males are actually hunting at night under the cover of darkness that's not going to make too much of an issue it's when they're hungry and they're actually out when it's overcast like this uh, if they do try and hunt then it could make them a little bit more visible but not to a huge degree if they play the cards right they can still stay very well hidden but of course it's the bulk of their bodies that really help when it comes to hunting. And we did get asked a little while ago uh, if males actually initiate the hunt. And generally speaking, most of us uh, haven't seen a male initiate a hunt, but apparently Taylor has with the Charleston Pride, which is found, uh, sorry, the Charleston Coalition, who they're found about well, a few few kilometers south of here and she has seen the males initiating a hunt but generally speaking if they're with the females the males can help well they can conserve their energy the females can hunt and if there's any other males in the area that means the males still have the energy for defending that pride against any intruders but as I say males are actually very good hunters in their own right and they they can get involved in the hunt, especially if it's a buffalo, lending their weight to that if needed. And uh, we've even seen the males hunt by themselves, even two males hunting a buffalo by themselves. So, by the power of technology, we are going from male lions here in South Africa over to Kenya with James, who also has some male lions for you. Absolutely amazing. 